I'll just go through what to do for these two. All right. So remember, on a piecewise function, the main thing we want to do is just graph both these functions so we understand. Remember, piecewise function, we're taking our two functions and we're going to combine them together. So I take, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to graph both of these. So my first function is f of x equals x plus 2. All right. Then my next function is going to be f of x equals 3x. Now you can graph these many different ways. You guys can use slope intercept method. If you don't even remember slope intercept method, you can make a table of values, right? Just make a table of values and plot them. However, for here, I notice that now my y-intercept is at positive 2, so I'm going to go up 2, and my slope is 1 over 1, right? Because we can always write 1 times x, so it would be 1 over 1. So I'm just going to follow my slope, up 1 to the right one, up 1 to the right one. And you just keep on going up in that method. You guys go down 1 to the left one, down 1 to the left one, down 1 to the left one should be right there. There you go. Okay. So I have that graph. So that's the graph for when the domain is for all x values, right? We say the domain for this, ladies and gentlemen, is from negative infinity to infinity. Meaning the x value, this graph covers every single x value. Every possible x value is a, has a value on this graph, correct? OK, I'm going to get back to that in a second. Now I need to graph y equals 3x. Here, my, my y-intercept is at 0, right? Because y equals mx plus b, b is 0. So here, I'm going to cross at 0. But now my slope is 3 over 1. So instead of here, when it was up 1 over 1, here I go up 3 over 1. Or you could also follow the slope in the negative direction and go down 3 to the left 1. Either way, you connect the graph going left and right. All right, so I put the arrows. The arrows represent that these graphs go to infinity, meaning I have an x value. No matter how far I go on this x-axis, I'm going to have an x-coordinate on this graph. So therefore, the domain for here is for negative infinity to infinity. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, a piecewise function, what we're going to do for that, our piecewise function is telling us, I want you to combine these two graphs. But you can't put these on top of each other. Otherwise, we wouldn't have a function anymore, right? Because look at 0. At 0, I have a y value at 2. And here, I have a y value at 0. So I have two different values of at y, or two different values at when x equals 0. So therefore, I do not have a function when I combine these. So I put constraints on them. Rather than having domain negative infinity to infinity, I only want to graph this when x is less than or equal to negative 2. So I go over to negative 2, and I say it can be equal to negative 2 or less than negative 2. But that's it. So everything that's greater than negative 2, bye bye. Well, no, let's look. what is the domain of this? The domain of this now is x is less than or equal to negative 2. Do you see? See how the, if, of this function? Domain of this is now x is less than or equal to negative 2. Then the next thing I look at, Amber, is I look at this one. This one has a domain of negative infinity to infinity, but I only want to graph it when x is greater than negative 2. So I look at when is x greater than negative 2. Well, it's going to be a big open circle right here. OK. So it's going to be when it's greater than. Hello. OK, that's fine. So I have when my x is going to be greater than negative 2, it's going to be open right here. Now it says greater than, not greater than or equal to, so that's why it's an open dot. So all when my x values are less than negative 2, that means all the x values to the left, that's now going to be what? Erased. So do you guys see how these two, look at my domain. The domain for this one is what? x is greater than negative 2. So do you guys see how my domain changes? Now the domain for this graph is all x values greater than negative 2. The domain for this one is x values are less than negative 2. Do you guys see that? Now what we do is we just put those two graphs together. So now I'm just going to graph them on the same set of axes. So I look at this and I say, all right. Negative 2, so I go down, it's cross that there, so I go down 1 over 1. 
looks something like this. Then over here, this point is at negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 over 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 over 2. That's going to be an open dot with a slope of rise 1, 2, 3 over 1. Rise 1, 2, 3 over 1. Cross right there. And there it is. Now we look at the domain of this function. Does my domain now include all x values again? Yes, right? Because if you look from all the way here, this goes all the way to infinity. So yep, I have an x value, I have an x value, I have an x value, I have an x value. Yes, I do have an x value right here. I don't have an x value for this function, but my x value for there is good. Then I move over, and now I don't have any more x values for this function, but I go down, and now my x values work again for this function, and it continues all the way to positive infinity. So the domain of this piecewise function is negative infinity, infinity to infinity. It's the combination of the two functions. Yes? No, it's going to be the whole function together as a piecewise. OK? And that's it. Questions? Good? Yes? Uh, well, for range, we're going to be looking at y values. And so yeah, we look at this and do our range, do we have all of our y values covered? Yes. For this one, we'll have them all y values. So it'll be all of real numbers. OK? Yes? Can you do um, graph 